and welcome back to my channel my name is Soumya in today's video I'll be doing this lab cloud functions using command line interface we will see how to use a command line interface to work on cloud function so in my previous lab I showed how to use the cloud function using a web console so in today's video we'll see how we can use it on a command line interface let's start with this lab this is same as the web console so here also we will have five tasks which we need to complete using the command line interface so here also we'll be creating a cloud function and deploying this cloud function and testing the cloud function and then we will be viewing the logs on using the command line interface so the only difference is here we will be performing everything on the cli instead of using the web console so let's start the lab so the lab is started just log into google cloud console using the student id and the password now we have logged into the google cloud console so let's go back to our lab so here so the setup will be the same let's proceed with the task one create a function so we'll be creating a cloud function in a cloud shell so as part of task one we'll be creating a function so we will create a simple function by the name hello world so this function will write message to the cloud function logs it is triggered by cloud function events and accepts a callback function used to signal completion of the function so in this lab we will be making use of this cloud pubbus subtopic event so once this event is created cloud function gets triggered pub and sub is a messaging service where the senders of messages are decoupled from the receivers of messages so when a message is sent or posted a subscription is required for receiver to be alerted and receive the message so once this pub sub topic event is created it triggers a message so let's create a cloud function so to, before creating a cloud function we need to set this default region so we need to execute this command gcloud config set compute region and we'll be setting the region to us central one so let's go back to our web console here so let's activate the cloud shell uh, since we will be using the cli tool we need to activate this cloud shell so let's open this in a new window now let's set the region to us central one let's copy this command and go back to cloud shell here and execute it here so this will set the region to us central one now it's the configuration is updated now let's create a directory for the function code so this mkdir creates a directory by the name gcf hello world so whatever name we are we, they have specified it will create a directory with that name let's copy this command so let's execute it here so if we do ls it will list the directory so this is a directory which we created just now let's get inside the directory using cd command so we are now inside this directory if you do ls it doesn't have any files here so it is not having any content here so let's go back here we will create an index.js so we can use nano to create and open this index.js file or if you are comfortable using vi you can also do vi and execute this let's copy the following into the index.js file let's copy this paste it here control x y and enter next if you cat this so you can see this content is available now now we have created an index.js file let's proceed with the task to create a cloud storage bucket so using this following command we'll be creating a cloud storage bucket for the function so you are uh, using js util tool so if you are using command line interface you have to use this js util tool this mb is nothing but the make bucket command followed by iphone p is the project id and gs is the bucket name so here under project id we can use this project id so project id you will get it here so the same project id we can copy it so you need to replace this uh, with the actual project id here and the bucket name should be unique so you can make use of the project id itself so that your bucket name remains unique so let's copy this command go back to cloud shell can clear the screen here we need to replace this okay let's go back let's copy this and paste it here so this is a project id which i'm using to create my bucket so you ensure that you replace this with the actual values so let's execute this command now this will create a storage bucket so now we are the bucket got created let's go back now let's click on check my progress and this should be complete now we have created a storage bucket 
Next, we need to deploy the function. So when deploying a new function, we must specify this iPhone, iPhone trigger, iPhone topic, iPhone, iPhone trigger, iPhone bucket. So this is very important. So we need to specify this too. When deploying an update to an existing function, the function keeps the existing trigger unless otherwise specified. So if you are deploying any update, function will keep the existing trigger. So for this lab, we'll be using the iPhone, iPhone trigger, iPhone topic as hello world. So we will be keeping this. So we will deploy the function to a pubbles sub topic name hello world. So here we need to replace the bucket name. So let's copy this command. So here we need to execute this command gcloud followed by function. Since we are deploying a function, you need to specify that followed by functions deploy and the function name. Function name is hello world here, iPhone, iPhone stage, iPhone bucket. So the bucket name you need to specify here and the trigger topic is hello world. Runtime we are specifying it as Node.js. So you remember in our web console, we have configured all of this. So same way we will be performing this on a CLI. So let's copy this command, go back to cloud shell. Here, remember to update the bucket name. Okay, so whenever the, any new file gets uploaded to the bucket, it creates a proper subtopic and this will trigger a function. So this is how it works. You can see this logs, deploying function. So for build logs, you can click on this link and check the build logs. This is deploying the function. Entry point is hello world. Event trigger is bubble subtopic. The runtime it is using Node.js 20. So we can see all these details here. So let's go back. Verify the status of the function. So let's verify the status of the function by executing this command. So let's clear this screen here. Let's copy this command. Let's go back, execute it here. Uh, by executing this uh, gcloud function describe hello world it will give a tail about this function so you can see the status is active this function is in active status so let's go back so you can click on check my progress and this should be complete now now in task board we will be testing this function so once we deploy the function and once this status of this function is active we need to test the function if this writes a message to the cloud log so let's execute this command so let's copy this command so once we execute this command, we should get this output. So let's go back to cloud shell. Let me clear the screen, execute it here. And so we got this output. So this is the expected output. Once that is done, let's move ahead with the task by view logs. So we can view the logs of this function by executing this command gcloud function followed by logs. So since we are viewing logs, we have to pass this logs read and the function name. So let's copy this command, execute it here. We will get this output. Now the task file is also complete. Let's move ahead with the task sys. Serverless lets you write and deploy code without the as well of managing the underlying infrastructure. Yes, that's true. Using cloud function, we can write and deploy code without having to manage the underlying infrastructure. So that's how you use the function using the command line interface. So I hope you found this video helpful. So once this, uh, once you have completed all this task, you can end this lab. If you found my video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with the latest content on this channel. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video.